alcohol file as well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, this is going to be a reading and this will be for my Pisces. And this will be for the week of November 2nd through November 8th. So I hope you guys had a great week. Um, my witch's attire, um, I am filming these on All Hallows Eve. So I thought it would be appropriate to wear my brand new witch's hat. Um, I fell in love with this hat. I saw this hat and I was like, I gotta have this hat. So, um, I love black feathers. I love feathers all together. So I fell in love with this when I saw it. And it also has the veil. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, um, I put the veil up because it, it just, it gets in the way of my readings and it has little spiders on it. So they kind of block my view of being able to read the cards. So I have the veil up. Um, so I hope you guys had a great week. My week has been great. Um, absolutely amazing. Couldn't ask for a better week. So I'm going to give you one more shuffle and then we will get on with your reading, my loves. Okay, so angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that my Pisces needs to know for the week of November 2nd through November 8th, please? Well, that card flew right out. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. We have the pillar, okay? And the pillar is all about that uh, solid, dependable, solid. Things are dependable, things are sturdy. Okay, just like a pillar, it's gonna stand the test of time. We have the door. New opportunities are coming your way. You know, uh, that door is opening for new possibilities. We have the the uh, rats. Rats is all about um, some hot gossip. Some gossip, maybe you have a little bit of fear and anxiety at the moment. Um, there could be some fear and anxiety over uh, something. You could, um, but don't worry about that. Um, you know, uh, we're all a little bit on the depressed side. We're all a, bit, a little bit anxious because of this coronavirus and things that are going around. Here is a uh, the poppet. It, it, it's about a person or something that you want to bring to life. Okay, something that you uh, are looking for, that you are longing for. But it's about that, that thing that you want to, or a person of some sort that you want to bring to life. Okay. We have the candle. Candle's all about light. It's all about that spark of energy. So you're going to have that spark of energy this week. We have the cross. And what is the cross, guys? It's all about that higher power is coming. Um, maybe you've been carrying on a heavy load of something. Um, but the heavy load, all, all is going to go good this week. We have the mirror. Reflect on yourself. Do some self-reflection. Um, there could be um, maybe with that depression, you know, the anxiety. Kind of kind of look into yourself. Kind of look at that. Um, but that energy, you know, channel that energy in the right direction so that things will manifest for you. Um, you have that door opening up, so those possibilities are coming, okay? But that, um, you know, it's only going to come... Guys, if you want it and you uh, look for it and you manifest that, um, but you are solid. You're a solid like a pillar. Okay, so things are going to go great. So angels, guides, and spirits, thank you so much for that reading for my Pisces. So let's ask the universe. Give these five shuffles. Ask the universe what it is that they would like to say to you, tell you, talk to you about um, for the month of November. Uh, for the second to the eighth, please. Two more shuffles, guys. We'll find out what that universe is saying to you. Okay. Universe, what is it that Pisces needs to know? What you want to talk to them about? Tell them. 
They want you to be more innocent. They want you to see things through child's eyes. They want you to look at things um, through a new perspective. We also have reflection. Okay, we have that winter solstice, which is coming up um, after Halloween is the winter solstice. So it's a time of to reflect on things, um, reflect on that um, fall season, reflect on the things that have happened in the fall. Take that time to reflect on yourself, to reflect on things from the past, to reflect, um, you know, and look at things through the reflection of a child's eyes, through the innocence um, Things are beautiful. Um, sometimes we take things for granted. You know, we take the trees for granted. We take the earth for granted. We take um, things that we just overlook all day long, you know, um, that we see every day. Just take that time and just look at it. You know, take the time to acknowledge it. Take the time to uh, reflect on the, some of the things that, that we take for granted in life. Okay, guys, I hope this helps you. Remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you guys. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. Um, guys, if you have not sub subscribed, I please hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean the world to me. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Guys, I hope you have a beautiful All, all Hallows Eve, beautiful Halloween, and an uh, Samhain and beautiful winter solstice first week of November. I love you guys. Until next time, have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.